Good evening everybody and welcome to noisy Bangkok, Thailand. This is my second time in here and we are on a mission. We are about to exchange some money. We are looking for an exchange. Although Thailand is really technologically advanced and card is accepted everywhere, cash is still king. Once we exchange the money, we are going to do a culinary experience. Join me. It might be fun. Well, we made it, finally. I've been spending the whole day walking around looking for an exchange. Now, we need to do some culinary experience. As I mentioned to you, or maybe I didn't, we are in bright Bangkok, and to be more precise, in Chinatown. Now, we're about to get into the center of Chinatown. This market is on the On a street, basically, there is no place where you can actually walk. The plan for the evening is to eat something and then try the famous Michelin donuts. I know it might sound strange, however, in here in Bangkok, there is a stand with a Michelin star and they are doing donuts. I cannot wait to try. While we are looking for a place where to eat, let me tell you a, uh, a story. And the reason why I was looking for an uh, exchange in particular. When you want to withdraw money in here, they, um, the bank, the ATM, is charging you 220 Thai baht for issuing you the money and this is a major issue if you consider that 220 baht is roughly 5 euro or 5 pounds lots of people everything is really crowded oh this looks interesting the only thing that I am afraid of is food poisoning of course but um, I trust I trust the Michelin brand and I will go for it. As we can see here, the prices for this place is about 60 Thai baht. I don't know if you can see it up there somewhere. For a small plate and for a large one is 100 baht. This is roughly £2.50 for the large one and £1.70. British pounds in dollars, I guess, is roughly between two and three US dollars. Right, guys, so this soup has arrived. I took a large one. Let's experience this soup. Mm. Oh, it's really, really tasty. Is it spicy? Oh wow, it is really spicy, but really good, really flavoring. I guess it's beef meat, but I'm not sure. But it's really, really good. Although it's really spicy, wow. Let's try this thing. What I really love about it is that the, um, the cap, the lid is sealed and hopefully I won't get sick. Mm, really nice, really refreshing. Is it a bit sweet? But it's also really tasty. It's like an infusion. Excellent. Goes perfectly with the soup. I am literally sweating. It's too hot and this soup is really spicy. 
right guys so I had to <coughs> to tackle in and finish it as soon as possible there is a really big queue outside let me show a little bit of place around so um, as you can see the place isn't the best one aesthetically however the food is tasting really good and the fact that it's full of locals this is an extra peace of mind for me because it means it's really genuine it's really good let's ask for the bill let's see how much is it going to to be right guys so the whole combo the main dish the large dish the large soup and the drink it costed 135 baht which is roughly three british pounds or four us dollars so we got ourselves a uh, really nice of watermelon it costed us 30 baht which is less than a dollar or than a British pound and now we are on a hunt for the Michelin Donuts let's see where and when we can find it in the meanwhile I will uh, enjoy this watermelon See you guys soon! I keep walking back and forth looking for the donut guy. Oh wow! That's interesting. As I was saying, I'm, I keep walking back and forth on this alley looking for the donut guy, but I cannot find it. Hmm. I guess we need to ask somebody. Hmm. Let's try in this small alley here to see if we can find it. Hopefully. I guess I need to change side of the road and go look for him. I really want them. I really want to try them. Let's see. Wish me good luck. Right, so I've been walking back and forth the whole time. Oops. As I was saying, I've been walking back and forth and I couldn't find this Michelin Donuts. Here we go. finally managed to find it, the Michelin Donut. The particularity of this place is that he has different certification for Michelin, as you can see up there, 2018-2019 for these donuts. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers trying them out, so I was like, why not? Let's try them out. I cannot wait to get out. As you can see, back there, they're made fresh. This is the reason why all these people back here is queuing. They are coming, a fresh set. our small set. This is ours. Thank you. We made it. Let's find somewhere where it's quiet and nice. This is the only spot that I could find which is uh, quiet to review them. First of all, let's start from the sauce. I guess this is a um, custard sauce. I'm not sure actually. Let's try it out. Let's see how it smells. It smells like a... Um, 
I wouldn't say avocado, but like a nacho or something. I don't know. Mm. It's really sweet and thick. I guess this is the perfect combination. Ooh. They're really, really, really hot, as you can see. We've got fresh ones. Ooh. They're really fresh, really crunch on the outside, soft in the inside. They have this golden color and they taste unbelievable. Really, really nice. Now, let's dip our donut into our custard cream. Now that we accomplished our mission, we ate the Michelin soup, we also found the donuts, we exited the Chinatown here in Bangkok and it's time for me to go and hit the sack. Thank you so much guys for watching, stay tuned for another brand new video and uh, thank you again, bye!